Here we have the 383 VK and today we will be installing a bucket seat. As you can see the car is currently equipped with the standard seat that came out in 1984. Um, it is not very supportive, especially in a high-powered vehicle um, like this. So we will start by removing this seat. All right, these are some of the tools uh, we'll be using. Uh, the main bolts are a 13, so I got a couple of 13 spanners, uh, especially the ones with a self-ratchet on the end. Um, I like using the swivel arm as well to get into the tighter spots. Uh, so we start off by removing the two 13 mil screws at the rear of the rails. All the screws are fairly easy to remove except one tricky screw which is on the center console side. Uh, it is very hard to access and it does take a while to get out and you will not be able to remove the screw unless you have one of these spanners with the self ratchet on the end. Put it on and then you have to slowly move it left and right in very slow movements, but that is the only way to get that screw out. All the screws have been removed, now the seat can come out. Just like this. And here we have it, seat removed. Next step is to have a bit more access, is to remove the steering wheel, and we might as well replace that with something suitable as well. The steering wheel has six little Allen screws, which are actually number size six as well. So let's remove all of those. Now it's time to test fit our new seat. Jokes, this will never ever be in this car. The next step is to take the old seat, flip it upside down, and now we actually have to take off the mounting rails. Again, there are four screws. These are hex Allen screws holding the seat and the rail in place. So we remove all four of those using a single tool as an Allen key. Now that we have removed all four screws, we are able to remove the whole adjusting assembly, just like that. All right, and here we have the old seat and the new Monza bucket seat. As you can see, the Monza is much more supportive as you got your side braces and a much better headrest as well. So now it's time to um, get the work done on the new one. Now we can chuck the old seat back into the garage and let it rest. Now it's time to start assembling the mounting and the railing to the bucket seat. You will have to fabricate or you can purchase steel plating like this. It's about three millimeters thick. This will be positioned on the bottom of the bucket seat which will hold the seat adjuster in place. The rails get positioned like this. You will have to measure up the holes, drill the correct holes into the plating, and make sure everything is aligned correctly and matches up. You want the, you want the seat straight, so you have to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. It is important to remember to make a cutout on one of the left hand rails because you have a pivoting mechanism which is right here when you adjust the seat up and down which will need to move within the space. As you can see you will have certain holes that will be overlapping each other. You are putting one screw into the actual seat, one screw will be coming up through another hole as such holding the rails to the mounting brackets and then you will have another screw holding the rails into the car. Once everything has been positioned and aligned carefully, next up is to get screws as this with a 13 mil head, about three centimeters long, and install them into the actual mounting of the seat. Just like that. Position that there, align it, drop the screw in, and tighten it down. Now that we have torqued down all the screws and uh, the brackets and the rails are firmly in place, it's time to put the seat back into its position. Now we can position the new seat 
incorrectly and bolted down with the four bolts. And there you have it, full adjustable bucket seat installed, secured, as you can see, very little movement, braces are very firm, height, adjust, height adjustable still works, back and forth motion works, um, and great support, definitely a good install. Now it's time to install the correct 90mm offset drift steering wheel, which is this one here. Uh, they're both 350mm in size and circumference, but as you can see this one has quite a large offset. So let's put that on and see how it goes. And there we have it, steering wheel in place, great grip, suede leather. Um, let's test the horn if it works. Yep, sounds good. So now the job is complete and we're ready to give it a test drive and hopefully everything is all good. And you gotta love the VKs. Baby shot me.